In your journey to destiny uh, as a woman in the marketplace, you will inevitably encounter different types of suitors in your quest for true love. And many girls will often uh, seek out my advice on how do I know the real one, the one. And uh, what I normally say is that they are normally signs. God is not a God of confusion. He will guide us. He will open our eyes to be alert, to see uh, flags, red flags in, 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 a, in a relationship, in another person that could be dangerous and harmful to us. So there's a type of suitor and uh, this, um, this is a type of character that many women have spoken to me about. And it's a type of guy who we call a sofa decor. He decorates the sofa, literally. Doesn't want to work doesn't want to apply himself, doesn't want to do any meaning, apply himself to any meaningful labor that will generate an income, an income. So he'll always do things that are, are not strenuous, things that are quick money, quick, quick overnight um, breakthroughs where he wants quick money overnight without going the, through the proper process of work or doing business properly. And, and what happens is if you hook up with one of these type of characters, you will become the breadwinner. You will bear the burden of always being the breadwinner um, uh, on your own because it will not be balanced where you're helping each other. And during courtship, what you will notice about this character is that he always forgets his wallet. You go out to restaurants, you go out somewhere, and either you're expecting he will pay or you, you go Dutch where you share the cost. And for some reason, he always forgets his wallet. He hasn't got it on him when he needs to, when it's his turn to pay. And that's one of the first red flags you see about a guy who, who isn't applying himself to earning and having income on him. The other thing is that he has no problem, no shame, no embarrassment about you taking care of him, which is not natural because uh, in God's divine order, the man is the breadwinner. I know in modern times, and in this modern day where women have careers and we apply ourselves, the, 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 the ideal is where we, we bring together the resources because we're able, we are educated, we're we are able to apply ourselves as a couple and bring in resources. But ultimately, God's divine order, the man is a breadwinner. He is the breadwinner. And, and to that extent, when he's not winning any bread, not bringing any bacon home, and when you're doing everything and he doesn't mind, then something is wrong. Something is not quite right with that order, especially where he enjoys it and doesn't mind it. Because a man within God's order will, will not want that. He will be restless and uneasy about sitting back while you bring in the income. He'll be very uneasy because his ego will not allow it. The, the positive and good part of his ego will not enjoy that kind of thing. So that's another sign. And then what will happen is... Um, he will always, the other sign is he'll always uh, in deals. He has a deal here, a deal there. He, he has something coming up, babe. Uh, I'm working out something. I'm meeting a man who knows a man. And we're going to do a deal and it will come out. And we're going to make so much money. And this man never talks of just normal, basic, reasonable amounts, which you need. You don't need billions to live. He'll always talk in terms of billions. I'm going to make a billion from this deal. And you're like, we don't even need a billion. We just need 2,000 for the groceries. We need 20K for the rent. We need what? And as we grow as a couple, the, it will increase 200,000 years. Then we'll need 20 million to buy a property or something. But he always talks in ri ridiculous figures. And he always does deals that don't make sense. They're not, they sound too good to be true. Too good to be true. So these are the signs you see. And what will happen is because, because he's, we are all created by God and God made men to be sensitive and to be breadwinners and not to be taken care of by a woman, what will happen is uh, that d d uh, lack of divine order will ultimately begin to eat at him. 
he'll, be, he'll reach a point where instead of uh, adjusting it and dealing with it in a healthy way and becoming the man God wants him to be and to earn the income, help you out and work together and you feel secure that he's taking care of you, he will begin to cheat on you. He will go out and find, because you're, remember you're the one bringing in the bread, so you're climbing in your career or in your business. So you're going out there, you're probably coming home sometimes late because of uh, office, office functions. You're traveling because the job and the business requires you to be out there meeting other people. The man begins to get insecure because you're the one in the limelight out there. You're the one, so you always find him lying on the sofa. He sent you to bring me the newspaper on your way home, etc. Or there's no milk. Remember to buy milk on your way home. He wouldn't even as much as have money to buy milk. So what happens is he becomes to resent your success. And it's like cutting the hand that's feeding him because you're the one bringing in the money uh, that he's living on, yet he begins to resent you for that success and your ability for making that money. He begins to sabotage you. He begins to not want you to go out for those business meetings, traveling, he begins to complain you're traveling too much, that you're having too many outings out there, or you're talking to too many people, yet you need to do all these things to bring in the income. So what happens, his insecurity leads him to cheat on you because you're becoming maybe too big for him in a way, he becomes insecure. So what happens is, he begins to cheat on you. He goes out there, he begins to date younger women or, or women who are not where you're at professionally, business-wise or career-wise. Women who he will, remember he's taking money from you, even pocket money. So he will take whatever pocket money you're giving him, he will use it on these young girls um, who to them maybe 500 shillings or 1,000 shillings is like a million. So they will adore him and, and really almost wash his feet and really uh, worship him and he loves that. So he will cheat on you with that kind of a woman and then he will use, maybe he doesn't even have a car because you only have one car for the family and it's in your, you're the one who bought it. So he will even begin to drive these girls using your car, you know? And he doesn't feel anything is wrong with that but because his inward self is disturbed by the fact that he's being taken care of by a very powerful, capable woman. So the relationship inevitably hits the rocks. And at that point, you realize you've been taken for a ride. You're the one slogging. You're the one doing everything. Yet he's now not only not helping you and taking care of you and the children, he's cheating on you. And it's at that point you need to make up your mind what to do about it. Cancelling is an option. So that what should have been dealt with, remember you should have addressed this issue way before at the beginning where you'd have seen the signs even when you're dating, so that even marrying him should have been a question mark. But this, if you didn't deal with it at the beginning and have counseling, go for counseling before you get too serious, before you get married, and have his, that issue addressed of him never making money, not having an income, not wanting to apply himself and work hard and make money just like everybody else makes money, wanting quick fixes and overnight riches. Now you have to deal with a more difficult problem because you may not want to break your marriage, because in all other respects, he's an okay person, and you, you want to solve this issue, and you go for counseling, which is an option, and experts will help you to deal with his inability to bring in income, and also deal with his adulterous lifestyle, what causes it, what is it within him that is causing him to, to get into self-destructive patterns of behavior that are harmful even for your marriage. And that's a kind of guy you want to avoid, you want to see the red flags and you want to deal with very early on in your relationship and in your courtship.